Dr. Hydro. Today I wanted to go over how I build my hydroponic rail systems. I wanted to move hydroponics out of those black buckets and into something you can be proud to have around your house and outside of your house. I have my 3D printed hydroponic Dr. Hydro boxes, but I love making things with my hands. I love power tools. So this is what I've made with power tools and I keep making these. I love these. These can be seed starting and they can also sustain your growing plants. I'm gonna show you how to make them. This is a Vivo Sun submersible pump. It's 400 gallons per hour and I got it off of Amazon. This will be in your reservoir. Half inch, barbed, elbow. This is for irrigation, so you can find it in the irrigation section at your local hardware stores. You're gonna need two of these. You'll need six barbed half inch splicers. These are found in the same place where you find the elbows. This is irrigation splicers. You'll need six of these. One half inch barbed tea, also found in the irrigation section at your hardware store. Black rubber grommets, half inch. These are beveled. You'll need six of these. And you'll need a reservoir. This is a five gallon bucket, but for my model, I use seven gallons, so it's not that big of a difference. Clear silicone caulking. This is made for kitchen and baths, so it's waterproof and it's used in kitchen and baths so you know it's safe. This is DAP clear silicone caulking. You also need the gun for it. Three inch hole saw. This is the size that I use for my rails. Sometimes I use four inches, but I use a three inch for this. You can also buy these on Amazon. And they should have a connector piece which adapts to your power drill. And it screws on like this. A power drill. You're gonna need something that will let you drill into the rails for one part of this project, for the one part of this process. And then for the other part, you're going to be attaching your three inch hole saw to it. So as long as your power drill accepts this, you should just need the one power drill. You will need net pots. Half inch irrigation tubing. Four by four or five by five vinyl fence post at Home Depot. And then the matching end cap. This is a four by four, so I use a four by four end cap and a four by four vinyl fence post. That's it.
this one. Connect it to the pump. So these two hoses, we turn the water down. You have to find a way to put your rails on some sort of a surface. I build out of PVC, so I like to make my own stands, but you can put these on a flat table or you can, uh, you know, repurpose some of the things in your house like shelves and wire shelving to mount your rails. And that's how you make these hydroponic rails. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. And as always, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.